On the 502nd day of the war in Ukraine, the fighting was mostly concentrated in these areas. Ukraine will produce Turkish drones as well as German tanks and armored vehicles. Yesterday, it was announced that Ukraine and Turkey signed an agreement over the production of the Turkish drones in the territory of Ukraine. The agreement included the production of the famous Bayraktar TB2 drone. Today, the news was also confirmed by the Minister of Strategic Industries of Ukraine, Oleksandr Kamishin, who said that the construction of the production plant has already begun. Also today, in an interview for the CNN, the CEO of the biggest German arms maker Rheinmetall said that the company will build within the next three months a plan for the production and repair of tanks and armored vehicles in the western part of Ukraine. The production capacity of which will be around 400 tanks and armored vehicles per year. According to the CEO, the company will also assist in the training of Ukrainian soldiers and helping them to use this equipment and will also provide the necessary protection for the plant, including the air defense system that will shield it from the Russian missile attacks. The Bakhmut Front has been the most active front during the last few days. South of the city, Russian and Ukrainian forces continue to clash over the control of Klishivka, but no major territorial changes are reported. The situation is a bit different north of Bakhmut, where the Ukrainian forces have increased their offensive actions on the Russian defensive lines, and as a result, it is reported that they have advanced in two directions. First, the Ukrainian sources confirmed the news that was said two days ago about the Ukrainian advance towards Berkivka. The Ukrainian forces are in control of a good part of the western side of the town, but the fighting continues for the full control of Berkivka as the Russian sources counterattack frequently. Further north, it is reported that the Ukrainian forces are seeing success north of Soledar. Reliable sources reported that the Ukrainian army cleared a wide area south of Rozdolivka, while it is reported that the same situation could happen very quickly south of Vesele, where the concentration of the Ukrainian forces has increased a lot in recent weeks, especially now that the arrival of the famous Ukrainian brigade, the 92nd Mechanized Brigade from the Zvatove Front, is reported, Russian sources expect a powerful attack by Ukrainian forces towards Soledar and Yakolivka in the coming days. On the Zaporizhia front, fierce fighting continues in Robotine and Zherebyanki areas. The Ukrainian forces do not give up on their efforts to push south and, as reported by some Russian sources, today they have advanced about 500 meters northeast of Robotine. According to Russians, assault units of the 47th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Army, supported by M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicles, have advanced south taking a part of the heights between Robotine and Verbove. Although the advance is small, taking control of the area around the heights between Robotine and Verbove will give the Ukrainians a good advantage for further advancements in this part of the front line. In the western part of Zaporizhia front, it is reported that units of the 128th Brigade of the Ukrainian Army are attacking the Russian positions in Zherepyanki. So far, there are no reports of territorial changes in this area, but it seems that the Russian sources are worried that the Ukrainian army is concentrating more and more forces in this area, which means that the battles on the Piatigatke front will continue and could even intensify in the following days. In Siversk front, Ukrainian sources reported about a slight advance of the Russian forces west of Dibrova. However, the fighting continues in this direction of the front, and the Ukrainian forces have continuously launched several counterattacks to stop the Russian offensive. In the forest area south of Kremina, sporadic clashes continue between light infantry units of the two armies. During the last few days, no big changes are reported in the front line, but it is said that the Russian forces have a slight advantage and have improved their tactical positions inside the forest area. In the southern part of the front, the Russian army has advanced west and improved its tactical position by taking a hill north of the Ukrainian positions in Spirne. Although Spirne is a rather small and not an important settlement, it seems that the Russian forces are attacking here to draw away the attention of the Ukrainian army from their offensive actions north of Soledar. That's all for today's video. Please don't forget to help the channel grow by liking the video and subscribing, and also for those who want to support the channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thank you.